and that's this key part is if you don't think about like if if you don't think about how you'll get there you never will right and, and so so and, and i know some of these topics for a lot of people might be like oh it's 101 but i'm curious to say okay what do you have any other thoughts or advice for people in saying hey how can you like because I think we are our worst enemies on a lot of these things. Because mm-hmm. if we, I know like, I'm my own worst enemy. We're right. our, we're busy, yeah. right? And we're 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 training our brains mm-hmm. to just these dopamine hits and watching <laughs> things, and like, and then even in work sense, it's like to the next email, to the next phone call, and we have a really hard time. I think generally lifting our heads up, going to my horse now, right? And, and and lifting our heads up, and seeing where am I actually going, and am I taking the steps, or am I just tripping in my own life because I don't have like. Um, I started reading. I started, oh, I'm listening to books. I'm illiterate. Um, <laughs> so it's called The Second Mountain, right? Yeah. And it talks about, you know, that, that second mountain being that, uh, you know, past just the, hey, I need to survive. I need to, mm-hmm. you know, I want the house, the job, the whatever. It's really that, that growth and that significance and that joy, not just happiness, right? And so I think that we get so busy in our lives that we get so stuck on that first mountain of, oh, I just got to, you know, pay the bills, you know, try and get on a vacation every now and then, right? right? Versus actually looking up and seeing where do I really want to go and and how do I get there? And so what are some, for, for people that are starting to think bigger, right? And starting to think like, hey, like even, even some initial bigger thoughts could be like, hey, I want to own a house or hey, I want to get the kids to college. Those are some more, you know, common priorities that some people, I love that priorities that people can mm-hmm. have in their life what are some of the small steps that help people get there like what are the daily weekly monthly disciplines that people need to be outside of like budgeting how do they start getting there by using markets and investment to get there great question um and you know this isn't this isn't even a, a plug for you or me it's just my personal beliefs and having professional advice Right. Because I I think if you don't know the path that you're supposed to go on to achieve these priorities, that's where you look locally for your resources to help you create that path. Uh, I remember when my wife and I were getting married and we said we want to be able to buy a house when we get married. I had no clue the first step in doing that. So who did I talk to? I talked to Chris Hollows, your local Wallach and Volk lender. Right. And that was how our friendship even started, was in that sure. initial meeting. Are we friends? <laughs> I can, I, 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 so. I'm, like a, I'm like a tick. I just kind of hold on to people. <laughs> no, no, them, no, but, no, no, I love it. Um, and and I, I think the same thing might be appropriate for other folks because there is a world of opportunity, investments, and solutions out there. And if you're coming in blind and just thinking to yourself, I have a priority I want to achieve, but I don't know where to start, you're going to get hung up in all the information, all the options, and you might find a solution that works but isn't necessarily in your best interest. Yeah. So I, that's kind of my way of not answering the question because without knowing who this hypothetical individual is that you're talking about that wants to start these priorities, I don't know what would be right for them. Right. I don't know if by saving for college, they're thinking that their kid's going to go to NAU and get in-state tuition or if they're going to go to Harvard. I don't know what their tax situation looks like if we need to be creating a tax free solution for this college or if we want broader flexibility. I don't know what the time frame looks like. How much risk can we take? Should we be looking at just interest bearing options? Um, I mean, and that's I think that's the, the scary part for people sometimes when they get started. Because with anything, there's just a wealth of information out there and you don't know where to start. There's a wealth of options out there. You don't know what's in your best interest. But having some form of guidance usually uh, can at least create conviction in what you're doing. And I think that's the the kicker, right? If we circle back to the very first topic we talked about, people having emotions in markets like this. If you go into a market like this and you don't have conviction about your strategy going into it, there is no way you're going to have conviction in your strategy going through it. And if you're not educated on that strategy and why you should have conviction about it, then you're going to be behind the eight ball when you're trying to educate yourself on it while you're feeling emotional, right? Yeah. 